Welcome to episode 3 of my old school RuneScape progress videos. This is going to be a little bit different because I'm not going to be doing Mage today like I basically have done in the first two episodes, which has probably been a little bit boring, I can understand. Um, today we're going to just start off with Abyss Slayer. My current task is Pyre Fiends. Yeah, 146 Pyre Fiends. Um, so hopefully I can get a strength level and... Yeah, well, I'll definitely get a strength level and a slayer level from this task. So, yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to head over there and I'll join you back when I get um, either one of those two levels. Alright guys, I'm back and as you can see, I just advanced a slayer level. So we're currently 49 slayer and I'm still slaying these things for days. Currently trying to render a video, so that's why it's a little bit laggy, but um, that's only just because I am recording right now. So it's all good. Um, I'll see you back when I get either another strength level or... Uh, sorry, if I get another slayer level or a strength level. I think I'm 20k away from that strength level, so not too far. Alright guys, as you can see I just hit 20... Oh, not 20, what am I saying? 72 strength. I was about to say something really weird then, but decided against it. Um, so yeah, 72 strength, um, nearly 100k to the next level, which is going to take forever. But um, yeah, I'll join you back when this task is finished, as there's only like 19 left to go. Hopefully I can do it in this inventory and I don't have to go bank, but you know, you've got to do what you've got to do, unfortunately. And um, yeah, so I'll see you back when I finish. Alright, there you see guys, I've just finished my task, 12 tasks in a row, and we've received 10 points. So I'm going to head over and uh, grab another slay task, and I'll see you there. Alright guys, let's grab a new task then. How do you actually pronounce her name? Is it Shelda? I don't know, Kelda? Oh, War Beast, you've got to be shitting me. Ah, oh, that sucks dick, at least it'll be quick. Three points, I guess. Anyway, I've got to go get some cash out and actually buy a spiky helmet because I don't actually have one in my bank. So um, I'm going to do that and head over and finish this uh, wall beast task in the swamp. I wonder if I can... yeah, you can, I'm pretty sure you can teleport back out so that's good. It's just like west of here or the um, west of the tool shed or whatever it's called. So um, yeah, I'll join you back when I finish that task. Alright guys, this is my last war beast, and then the task will be finished. As you can see, I use the method of obviously using my Zerker Helm to help kill it. If you didn't know, you can actually just use the Spiny Helmet, well, you, you equip it, and then you walk up to obviously the wall, and then when it pops out, you put your Zerker Helm or whatever helm you want to use back on, and you can still attack it. So there we go, 13 tasks completed. Another 10 points, and yeah, let's go get our next slay task. I may as well just stay with you and get it, because it won't take very long. As you can see, that's where you go down, and you just um, go up and down every time, um, instead of going to find other ones. It's a lot quicker. A lot of people don't know that, but yeah. Now you do, I guess. And please give me a good task. I'd like... 100 plus trolls would be nice. Really good experience. If I get Ankus, I might go do the uh, Haunted Mine quest. Potentially. Come on, please give me something good. Don't give me Pyrophanes again. It gives me Pyrophanes again. Typical, typical. You're so predictable, Chelda. What, what, what should I call her? Should I call her Chelda or Kelda? I like, I like Kelda. But anyway, so gonna get my D hide back on and head back over to the Slay Dungeon. Or the Slayer Cave, whatever the fuck it's called. And enjoy another Pyrophanes task. Um should get a Slayer level, yeah, we'll we'll get it eventually, so I'll join you guys back once I get that Slayer level. Fifty Slayer, not bad. Fifty five and then I can use broad bolts and slayer dart. Perfect. Alright, I'm about to hit fifty slayer. And there we go. Can now kill Bloodvelds, yay, they're actually a really good experience. So hopefully I can get a Bloodvelds task. 
Um, I probably won't get any other levels. Yeah, it's about another 10k or so for Slayer level. And I've still got like 80 for a strength level, so I'll join you back once I finish this task. Alright guys, I've just finished my task. 14 in a row and another 10 points towards that Slayer mask. And yeah, I'll join you back when I go and get my new task. Task from uh, Kelda. Please, come on. you got to give me something good. And 14 cave bugs. Well, that's an interesting task. Back to the Lumbridge Swamp, I guess, and, um, yeah, I guess it's quite quick, so it'll be another another 10 points. Let's see how many actual Slayer points I have at the moment. 140, so I'm nearly halfway, which is good. Alright, so I'll join you back when I finish that very quick uh, Cave Bugs task. Alright, 15 tasks done, another 10 points. We're, I think we're at 150 now. So um, I'm going to head back and get a new task. Hopefully it's not a complete shit task because you know I want to get some experience for both strength and slayer and this task probably gave me about 50 slayer experience but it was pretty quick so I can't really complain too much because I do want to hurry up and get a slayer mask um, and yeah that's one of my main priorities along with getting 60 magic at the moment you know I could, I could get that really easily which I probably should get around to but um yeah I kind of just want to train slayer for a bit I also want to get 55 slayer so I can start training range and eventually get 70 in that as well. So, yeah, I'll join you back when I get my new task. Alright then, let's get that new task. Give me something good, please. Basilisks. Ah, uh, they're not that bad. Pretty decent experience, I guess, for for my level. Um, only disappointing thing is I have to wear the uh, mirror shield and I can't actually use my rune defender. But yeah, apart from that, it's pretty pretty decent task, so um, I'll join you guys back if I get a Slayer level or if I finish the task. See you soon. Guys, so um, I'm back a little bit earlier. As you can see in the chat box, congratulations, you just advanced a prayer level. Literally, all that happened was that I wanted to pick this herb up, but I accidentally picked the bones up first. Obviously, instead of dropping it, I just uh, bury the bone as I can one-click it. And yeah... Got 45 prayer, just like that. So I must have been... How much does a bone give you? 5 experience? Or 4 experience? Or something like that? So yeah, I must have been that close to a prayer level. So I got 45 prayer now, and um, I'll join you back when I get that slay level. Alright guys, as you can see, I just advanced a slay level. So we're 51 slay now. And on the road to 55, I've still got quite a few of these to go. Yeah, just over... Just under 60, sorry. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get these done, and I'll join you back then. Alright, as you can see, I've just finished my task, and that's 16 in a row, and another 10 points. So, um, I'm just going to head over and get another task. Alright, let's get this new task. Uh, basilisks weren't bad, but there are better tasks, and that is definitely not one of them. Rock slugs are absolutely horrible. Also means I have to buy some uh that sea salt or whatever it's called. Uh where are they? Am I blind? There we go, bag of salt. So yeah, that sucks. 129 is also a lot of them, so that is going to be a long ass task. Um I'll probably get a level up, I assume, so I'll I'll see you back when that happens. Alright guys, as you can see, completed seventeen tasks. And, yeah. Rock slugs, they're a horrible task, if I'm being honest. I mean, the constant blur, click, salt, click. It's just uh, kind of irritating, but, you know, you've got to get through it. Um, as far as the levels go, I'm literally j 291 experience away from leveling to 73 strength. Uh, 4k off a slayer level, but, you know, whatever. Get it next task, so I'll get both of them next task, which is... Pretty good. I'm um, going to get my new Slayer task now, and um, yeah, let's go see what it is. Alright guys, so the video part that I just... The fuck? Um, yeah, the video part that I just um, recorded was uh, accidentally corrupted. I, well, I wouldn't say it was accidentally corrupted. I don't actually know what happened to it, but um, yeah, it came out. Video wouldn't open. It's something to do with the codec or whatever. 
So I'm just recording it again. Um, the slayer task I got from Kelda is uh, basilisks again, um, which obviously is the reasoning behind the mirror shield. Um, but in that video, or the little clip I had, um, I was explaining the fact that I have access for a face cam, if that's something that you guys are interested in. Um, if you are, please just leave like a comment saying like, yeah, face cam will be cool or whatever. And um, if I get a few comments saying that, um, then um, yeah, face cam will be a go. Um, as far as placement on the uh, screen, um, I know a lot of people put it up in the uh, minimap, like streamers and stuff do that. Um, I'm not a massive fan of that actually. Um, I know it's like up in the corner, so it's like out of the way and stuff. But you know, I was I was thinking maybe put like putting it down here in the back end of the uh, chat box. Uh, maybe cover like covering up this uh, little section here, and maybe you're just going over to the inventory. So maybe like something like that could be cool. Um, obviously, you'll still be able to see the chat. You know, you'll still be able to see the um, task number and stuff. So yeah, it wouldn't really get in the way. But um, yeah, give me some feedback on that, guys. I'd love to hear um, from a few of you guys about yeah if you would like to see a face cam or not. Um, I'll see you back when I hit 90. Oh, when I get was it, 291 experience and um, 73 strength. Alright guys, as you can see I'm about to level up, I would assume probably the next Basilisk. Um, yeah, oh there we go, 73 strength, not bad. Uh, I'm just talking to one of my mates here, he's also a Zerker at the moment. Um, so yeah, we've got, oh geez that looks daunting, over 100k, 104k I think it was. Till the next level, um, Slayer's up next, I think it's maybe 4k-ish away. Um, and yeah. Um, I'll come back to you when I get that 52 Slayer. Alright guys, um, once I kill this Basilisk I should... Uh, maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, maybe, maybe two more, um, and then we'll hit 52 Slayer, but, um, yeah, I mean, Basilisks are actually, they're a decent task, considering how much experience you actually get from them, um, obviously it sucks, you, you have to use the, uh, Mirror Shield, but, you know, small sacrifice for a decent, well, somewhat decent reward, you also get, um, a lot of herbs, Obviously, I can't identify all these, um, so they're either going to be a Harrowlander or better. I do need to get my Herbler up just one level so um, I can identify the Harrowlanders out of all these, or all the herbs I ever come across. And there we go, 52 Slayer. Not bad, not bad. Nature Rune Drop. Um, I will join you guys back once I finish this task. Um, won't get a Strength level. So, um, I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, um, I just got a hit points level, so I'm now 67 hit points. And I am still going with these Basilisks, so... Yeah, 55 to go, and then I will go get a new Slayer task. Alright guys, I have just finished my task, 18 in a row. Another 10 points, two more, and we obviously get the uh, points boost for 10 in a row. Um, got a genie lamp while I was killing these, and yeah, gonna use it on Herblore and get 20 Herblore, so I can finally identify Harrowlanders now, which is gonna be brilliant, uh, because, what the fuck, Taraman, cheeky Taraman there, um, so yeah, can identify Harrowlanders now, and I am going to assume I have a massive stack of them in the bank, but um, that means everything else in my bank is a Rana or better. Let me just check. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. It would have to be Rana or better, so... Yeah, that's really good, really interesting. It means I've got quite a bit of money sitting in the bank doing nothing. Um, I'm going to go grab a new task and end the episode after that. Alright, we're back at Kelda. And we need to get a new task from her. 116 Infernal Mages. Well, that absolutely sucks. They're probably the strongest, most 
constant hitting Slayer monster that I could face from her. And, yeah. I think last time I had them, I had about 140 of them. And I had to bank about five times. Which meant I had to run back to the bank in Canifus. Because I have no other teleportation method there. And, yeah. That's a pain in the absolute ass. And, yeah. But anyways, guys, that's going to end uh, episode three. So if you've enjoyed the episode, give it a like. And... Drop a comment if you are interested in me having a face cam. Um, if it's not that interesting, then I obviously won't do it if I don't hear any feedback from you guys. But um, yeah, apart from that, also subscribe to keep up to date with these episodes. And um, I'll see you in episode four. Goodbye, guys.